Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. So today, we're going to be doing some planting. Um, as you guys can see, we have the Alice Chalmers sitting here in the yard with the pro tail. So we're going to go ahead and get uh, these two bad boys washed up. And then we're probably going to fill the Alice with some fuel because... Uh, when I last looked, I noticed that it was running pretty low on fuel. This thing is a fuel hog. Ah, oh, frick, wrong button. Um, got a new toy here between yesterday's video and uh, this video. Um, picked up a Xbox controller for uh, using on computer. Um, I already have it set up for American Truck Sim and... I got it all set up too for uh, farm sim, so it'll be a little nicer uh, to play with versus just the keyboard. All right, and we'll go ahead and get this fired up. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. We'll get this guy folded up. Yeah, we are. Uh, running low on fuel so we're just gonna go ahead and top this guy off for uh, for the time cuz that way when we go to use it again it's full of fuel So we're going to stick that back in that corner. Whoops, wrong one. I meant to hit the one to switch cameras. I could get used to playing with a controller again. I used to have a controller at one point, and I had gotten rid of it. All right, we got her filled up now. We'll go ahead and we'll stick over in the shed. Oh, let's not hit the shed. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick this kind of over by the snow blower. But what I want to do is I want to leave enough room to where we can get the international out without having to take this guy out. So we're probably gonna kind of stick him up a little farther, right about here. I should do it. And we'll hop on over here. Here we got our planting tractor. Ready to rock and roll. So let's see here. Okay. Um, left button. X to turn on sower. And left button. Alright, let's go ahead and get started on some planting. Oh shit. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and get to work on this here and get uh, some stuff going 630 645 and 7 um, see if we can't get our wheat in the ground uh, between today and tomorrow hopefully um, that's my goal is for it to only take two videos to get all this wheat planted um, 
it shouldn't really take all that long uh, for these fields so we're gonna try and get as much done as we can um, in each video so Another thing I do want to look at picking up is a skid steer, uh, just a little old one, um, because oops, um, I did just recently get a mod where it um, allows you to hook, it's an attachment that hooks up to a skid steer, and you can hook uh, trailers onto it. So I want to look into picking that up. Um, because that would make parking our header trailers and stuff like that um, a lot. Okay, I gotta remember now. Oops. Um, was it? No, it was this one. Right? Yes. Um. Yeah, I want to look into picking that up because it'll make, like I said, it'll make, you know, moving our header trailers a whole lot easier and whatnot, so. Um, and just moving things around in the sheds in general, um, it'll make a lot easier. So, probably going to look into doing that. Um, the one that I had in mind, whoops, was... Um, we could get either the John Deere 90, get this little John Deere, or we get the Massey Ferguson 711. I was thinking of getting the John Deere 90, but uh, you guys let me know what you think on this idea. We'll probably get it forestry so it's got the sides, just because uh, that's usually how the skid steers are. But yeah, um, that's what I want to look into doing is picking that something like that up because um, like I said it'll make life so much easier for us for you know especially when it comes to moving stuff around in the sheds um, it'll just make that so much easier on us um, and I did also download a pack of headers that just came out um, it's a bunch of John Deere headers going from a John Deere 620F to a 622, 625, 630, and 635F. Um, so the 635F is about the size, same is the same size as our Macdon, only this is a John Deere header, it's not a Draper, it's the old reel style. Um, I was thinking of swapping the Macdon for this and a header trailer, but uh, I guess you guys let me know what you think on that, uh, if you think that we should. Um, if you would rather see, you know, the John Deere header to go with our John Deere combine, uh, or if you would rather see, um, see us keep the Mac on. I mean, me personally, I'd rather swap it out for the John Deere header and a header trailer. Oh, actually, I don't think that we would really even need a header trailer. I think the one that we have our corn head on would probably work. But I would probably just this soon get a different um, header trailer. Just because then we don't have to worry about, you know, unloading and loading headers all the time. You know, we have that header on that trailer, stays on that trailer, that kind of deal. Um, just makes it a lot easier and we don't have to be storing headers laying all over the place and whatnot. Plus a header trailer would stay put a lot better than that Macdon does. And you know that Macdon's a lot newer than most of the equipment that we are running on here so that's kind of why I'm suggesting swapping over the John Deere header. I 
because it just it would fit our operation a lot better than the Macton does, at least in my opinion. This controller is definitely a lot nicer. Having all these keys, you know, on the controller and whatnot. Oh man, I missed that a little bit. That is not going to fly. Um, you know, most everything that I need is on the controller when it comes to controls, and it just makes the driving a whole lot better as well. Yeah, I got it. I got it set up for American Truck Sim already. Um, this controller makes that game a whole lot nicer. But it it makes Farm Sim a lot nicer too. It's definitely not as nice as when I had my SciTech uh, gaming wheel. That was a lot nicer. It didn't get much nicer than that thing. But um, that's all right. Things come and go, I guess. And at that time, I needed the money more than I needed the steering wheel, so... Sold it. Hopefully we can get all this wheat planted before dark. We are putting fertilizer down as we plant. So hopefully we should have a decently fertilized field uh, to combine this fall. See how straight I can keep this. It probably would have been better if I had cultivated after I plowed just to uh, have made it so that things weren't so rough but that's alright.
Yeah, we are getting later on in the day. I think the last time I looked, it was like 5 o'clock in game. About 5 o'clock in the evening. So it is getting, getting later. Tillage took up. Tillage and uh, broadcasting lime took up most of our day. That's all right. It uh, it needed to get done. So that way we can have decent fields this fall and get some uh, hopefully decent yields. It'd be nice if uh, we have to pile grain on the ground. I mean that we did pretty dang good if all of our bins are full. Corn's probably, I mean, depending on how much it takes to fill our harvestor silo uh, to turn into silage, I mean, we might have a pretty decent amount, but uh, again, it's our amount of corn to combine, I should say. I should finish what I'm talking about, but, you know, as I said, it's, it's really going to come down to uh, seeing how much it takes for... Uh, for us to fill that harvest store silo so hopefully we can fill it and still have a decent amount of corn left um, I have a feeling I'll probably have to run the combine for whatever corn we do have left just because of you know how things are gonna play out but I mean I guess that or we can still set up the course for the combine and just kinda figure out where it would be that it would work best to start it on course play and kind of go from there. Because uh, that's kind of what we're going to be doing the most. Um, you know, we'll be doing a lot of running the combine on course play and then we'll be running grain cart and truck um, just because, I mean, we have to kind of have to run the truck just because course play won't recognize the uh, grain auger. So, you know, to use the auger, we, uh, we'll have to use, or we'll have to do it ourselves, and it'll be kind of, I mean, there won't be a point in having a grain cart if we're just going to, uh, and, um, so, I mean, yes, I shook, I nodded my head, and, um, but, uh, yeah, it'll be, you know, just run the combine on course play, and then we'll run grain cart, and then once we get the truck full, you know, then we'll quick run that back to the farm and whatnot. All right, so let's get that brought up, get it off, get it folded. I think I have it off, correct? Yes. There we go. Alright, on to the next one we go. This field's definitely more of a pain to get into. I have a feeling what I'll probably be doing is putting the truck in this hay field when uh, it comes time to combine. We'll probably have the truck in the hay field and we'll just bring the cart out of the field because that'll probably be the best way to do it probably be the easiest I mean there's oops it's not really a big deal to you know run the grain cart in and out of the fence I didn't take that corner correctly alright let's get this guy unfolded Get drop down. And get it planting. And go ahead and get, uh, see if we can't get this field planted before the end of the video.
So this is one of those few spots where I had to just add some grass to, uh, you know, get rid of a little bit of the field because of the tree. I had to do a couple spots of that in uh, the field next to us as well, just because of uh, the trees being in the field. And when it comes to course play, course play does not like that. Course play just runs right into it, so. Unfortunately, we kind of had to do, kind of had to get rid of a little bit of the field to be able to take care of that, so. I was going to show you guys too another thing that I did um, around the farm here is I put down so the grass that was here uh, the grass that's like right here this grass is not mowable so I went ahead and changed it to grass that is mowable so that way we can take our lawn tractor and we can mow our farmyard um, mow the grass in the farmyard and stuff uh, stuff like that we may make some hay out of some of it I don't know you know like maybe this big section over here uh, we could maybe put up a couple bales off of it or something but okay oh wrong button but um yeah that's kind of what I was thinking we could uh do with it so just because I mean we bought the lawnmower just for that added realism of having to you know mow your grass in real life another thing too if we do buy a skid steer um, I do also have a mower uh, a skid steer mounted mower that we can pick up too um, to kind of help with mowing a little bit faster than you know we can maybe with the lawn tractor and whatnot um, you know mowing a little bit more and at a time or I mean it also has the option to where you can hook it onto a tractor so I mean we could get it skid steer mounted or three-point um, and either use a tractor to mow with you know, could use like one of our, you know, cattle chore tractors or something like that to mow with. Or we can, uh, you know, just pick up a tiny tractor or something like that. You know, some small classic tractor to mow with or something. But, you know, that's, that's in the future. That's you know after we sell off our harvest and obviously we have to buy our cattle and our pigs first those are kind of going to be the more important uh, deals there so we want to worry about buying our cows and pigs before we worry about anything else because I mean if we have to run the same fields next year all the same equipment so be it I mean I'll take it I'll run it um, I mean I don't really have anything that I want to, or we don't really have anything that like super badly needs to be upgraded. I mean, the machinery that we have right now is, it's kind of perfect for what we're running. Um, I mean, once we start getting into some bigger fields and running more fields, then we might want to start looking into upgrading some stuff, you know, selling off some of the smaller and buying a little bit bigger. Um, but until then, really, the machinery that we have right now is kind of perfect. Um, we may maybe get some bigger tractors or some different tractors or something like that as, you know, the hours get built up on the uh, tractors that we have now. But otherwise, I mean, really, I don't see a whole lot of other upgrades necessary. at least at the moment and the turning radius with this planter is terrible 
But then again, I guess it's kind of realistic. You don't really want to turn super sharp with it, so. I guess it is what it is. You just gotta turn left and then turn right, or turn right and then turn left, I guess. I don't know which, end of, which way you need to turn, but you gotta turn one way and then turn the other, so to speak. I do have a little bit of a ditch right here, so I want to try and avoid that as much as I can. But I have a feeling that's not going to happen as well as I would like it to. this little field area here done so we can go ahead and knock out this one over here quick before we call it a video and then we'll see if we can't get them other two fields done in uh, tomorrow's video and then two videos we'll have all the planting done and then after that we'll be fast forwarding a couple days and we'll probably get some herbicide sprayed and, um, you know, that should take us a day or two as well uh, to quick spray everything. It might only take us one video. I don't know. But, um, get everything sprayed and then probably throw our beans and sunflowers in the ground. And then we'll probably get started on putting up some hay for our cattle. Because we are going to need quite a few bales for all of our cattle, so kind of want to get a jump on that. And see if we can't. Oops. See if we can't maybe try and get uh, two cuttings of hay in. Uh, but then again, it is also going to depend on how many bales we you know, get off of our first cut. Um, if we get, you know, a decent amount of hay off of our first cut of all of our grass then we shouldn't have to worry about a second cut. But, you know, I guess we'll just kind of have to see what we get. But it'll definitely take some time to get all of our hay cut and raked and baled and hauled. Because, um, I mean, we don't have very large equipment for when it comes to putting up hay, so. But, I mean, in real life, nothing comes quick. So, I'm okay with nothing coming quick in farm sim as well. I mean, I like to try and play as realistic as I can get. Sometimes it doesn't always work out that way, but I try the best, try to do the best I can. I know one thing's for sure, I'm ready to have this wheat all planted so that uh, we can fast forward time and have it earlier in the day to where the sun's shining a little bit brighter than it is right now so we can see a little better and not have to run our lights uh, not have to worry about running our lights I guess alright so the timer just went off but it's not going to take us too much longer to plant this field. So we'll just go ahead and finish this field. Otherwise I would just literally spend a couple minutes finishing it off camera. And just to start recording again. Because I'm recording a few videos in advance. So uh, this you're seeing on Thursday. And it's currently Wednesday morning. 
and I want to try and get videos recorded to go through the weekend so that's the uh, goal at least probably may not get all four of the videos I need to get recorded recorded tonight but uh, or this morning I should say but uh, definitely gonna try and knock a few of them out So I am thinking of doing a little mod project, uh, something that will kind of fit on this map. Um, I want to do an older older truck and make it into a service truck. Um, so that way we have something to service our equipment in the field when it, you know, when and if it breaks down. Um, so I want to take either come up with a model of an older truck and use it or uh, maybe take one of the old trucks that I currently already have in game that I've downloaded and take that and turn it into a service truck you know just maybe just throw the body of it into blender and uh, use it so I can get the scaling and just model up a service bed or something like that or see if I can't find one and just throw it on something or if anybody has a service bed or a service truck even because um, like I'm just looking for a pickup uh, I have a couple service trucks but they are semis so I want to try and find something that's a uh, pickup for our you know our smaller setup here because uh, I mean the closest thing that I have that would go with our current setup would be um, this one's a little bit new for our setup I'd probably be this cab over uh, honestly this would probably be the most fitting one with our setup once it uh, loads in here I mean this would probably be the most fitting but it's it's just the fact that I don't really want to have to get a big semi I was I'd like to kind of get just something smaller you know like a pickup so So I'm going to see what I can do there, see if I can't figure something out with that. But um, that is, I think, going to do it for today, guys. So I'm basically just going to hit stop recording uh, once I do the outro, and then I'm just going to start recording another video and uh, try and get these two fields planted as quickly as I can and uh, yeah so that's gonna do it for me for today guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified as soon as I get a video up to the public for you guys check out down below in the description I got my PC specs my upload schedule my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at as always guys Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.